Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to thank you for giving me this opportunity to address you as part of the Economic Forum in Delphi, home of the legendary Delphic Oracle. Being an oracle is not part of my job description, but your conference is entitled Outlook for Greece and the Region, Vision for 2020-2030. So let me chance taking a look into the future. The future that I see for Greece has two colors, green and blue. I see a land-based green economy that capitalizes on your natural assets, beautiful landscapes, rich biodiversity and stunning coasts. And I also see a maritime blue economy that builds on traditional strengths like shipping, seafaring, coastal tourism with a modern twist. Let me explain. Greece is a shipping giant and a tourist magnet. Tourism contributes almost 15% towards the Greek economy with its gross added value. Its share of employment is 6.1%. The cruise sector is booming. Greek ports are among the world's most popular destinations, as I saw for myself at the European Maritime Day in Piraeus last year. And Greece can build on these strengths, and it can champion new forms of niche tourism, such as ecotourism, food and wine discovery, scuba diving, and, amongst others, underwater archaeology. And this is good news for tourists. But... It is especially good news for the Greeks. Young people should not have to leave their homelands in the quest for jobs. Sustainable tourism opens up new opportunities. And it also exemplifies the benefits of sustainable growth. People often say that we need to strike a balance between economic growth and protecting our environment. Forgive me for being blunt, but I disagree. Why? Because blue or green growth is not about balancing competing interests. It is about integrating the environment into our economic activities. Because doing so can pay huge economic dividends. Applying EU rules on waste management in Greece could create almost 16,000 jobs. It could raise the waste sector's annual turnover by 1.7 billion euros, although, needless to say, not if illegal landfills stay open. Similarly, enforcing laws to protect valuable water resources makes economic sense. Good quality water is the base for many economic activities. Every euro in the Greek water sector creates a total of 5 euros in the whole economy. For each job created in the water sector, four jobs are created elsewhere. In short, I see plenty of potential and I know this vision is shared by my Greek colleagues. And together, we are taking steps to make it happen. Between 2014 and 2020, Greece will receive close to 20 billion euro from the European Structural and Investment Funds, almost 1 billion for waste management alone. It will also receive nearly 390 million euro for fisheries and maritime affairs. Under our EU Blue Med initiative, Greece is carrying out research and innovation with other countries in fisheries and aquaculture, tourism and the blue economy. We are working to encourage links between maritime training bodies to ensure a skilled and qualified workforce for the shipping industry. Greece is closely involved in the EU strategy for the Adriatic Ionian region, where it is taking control of its future by steering the work on blue growth. And finally, we have asked all EU member states to establish maritime spatial plans for their waters by the year 2021. But I say the sooner the better. Plans create certainty 
and with certainty comes investment and growth. Ladies and gentlemen, Greece's beautiful environment, whether on land or at sea, is one of your biggest economic assets. Use it and use it wisely. I wish you fruitful discussions and a successful economic forum. Thank you. Mm -hmm.